Kirk Norbury here and welcome to another one of my Lightroom courses and today we're going to be looking at sharpening and noise reduction. So these are two images we're going to go through. Uh, one I'm going to go through on sharpening and the other is more noise reduction. So just to start off we'll go through this red squirrel that I photographed a couple of years ago. So we'll just go on develop module and from there there we go we're in so this is after you've finished editing you've got the shot where you want it to go and the one you're looking for is detail right so the first place you go to now i'm just going to put these all down so you can see what I'm looking for to make this image pop a bit more, make it sharp. So usually I'll zoom into the area, especially on wildlife, I'll zoom into the eye and look there and see what I can do to make it really stand out a bit more. And what you can do, if you hold down the Alt key, you can see the sharpening a bit better. So when you sharpen it, it turns it grey and you can just see it. So you can see it adding there a little bit there. I always recommend just going through the radius as well. The problem radius is if you go too far, it starts adding a bit of a halo effect around the image. So I don't tend to go too far of it. You know, looking at the whiskers, you know, on them nice and sharp. And then you've also got the detail slider as well. So to start at the bottom. And you can see it's adding just little bits of detail into the image. So, around about there, I'm quite happy with. So, the problem with sharpening, it does add a little bit of noise. You can see in just the eye here, there's a little bit of noise. So, I'm just going to turn up the luminance just a little bit, and that'll just dull that down a little bit. And also, when you're editing, if you you can also use this little module box here where you can zoom in on certain areas and check your sharpness you know you can just bump it up and see the difference it makes what else you can do you can do this this is for the whole image but sometimes you don't want to sharpen the whole of the image because sometimes it's fine or depending on what style of image you're going for you only want to really focus on one area so for example this squirrel this area here of the moss and the tree doesn't really need to be sharp because most of it's out of focus anyway so if you start adding sharpness to this it's, it can start adding artifacts it can start mushing the image up a little bit so what you can do you can what i tend to do is zoom in into the image and grab your paintbrush tool, select the mask overlay, and just paint over areas that you feel need a sharpness adding. So I'm looking at this image. If I go back onto my detail slider and turn the sharpness all the way back down, I can look at it and think, well, where, where should I add sharpness? So definitely the eye, the nose, the whiskers, and a bit of the fur around here. So I'll just start painting in, so a bit, little bit there, a little bit here, you know, bring out those little bits of the whiskers here, around about the, the head as well. And what you do, once you've got, you know, sometimes you go all over the head and work around there, but I'm just going to work on this little area here. Now with the sharpness here, you don't get as much um, control over it like you do in the details module, but you still get a good, use this, the basic sharpness tool just here. So I'm just going to bump that up and you can already see that it's already sharpening the image. So that there, I'm happy with. So that's that's two ways you can sharpen your image. And you can see here, looking at the eye, it's nice and crisp and clear. So 
So, we're going to noise reduction now. And I'm going to look at this one. This is a long exposure done with a 10 stop filter. Yeah, you do, when doing long exposures, the chances of noise are higher. Uh, so, we're going to go and look at this image and see what we can do to it. Uh, mostly, the noise is going to be in the dark areas, the shadows, the rocks at the bottom along here. So, we're just going to see what we can do to this image. So, again, go to the detail slider and everything's put down to zero and I'm just going to zoom in onto a dark area and I'm looking around here and as you can see there's noise there yeah this is shot at uh, around about ISO 100 but it's it's about a 10 minute exposure so the chance again the noise levels are higher so what I'm going to do is just start with the noise start with the luminance and I'm just going to bump it up And there you go, you can see it's already removed a lot of the noise. Now, a lot of the noise is actually colour. So I'm just going to this colour slider. And I usually put it around about 50. That's um, where I see it seems to work the best for me. Now the problem with adding, um, getting rid of the noise is it softens the image. So this is where you go back into your sharpening. And just bump that up a bit. And it just helps bring the image back a bit. And again, just using the Alt key, you can see the effects of it. So you can tell where it's a little, little much, and the detail as well. And about there, I'm quite happy with. So I'll just zoom out a bit and have a look at the image overall. It's not looking too bad, it's looking quite clear. Um, See the zooming on the image as a whole and see what I can see. You know, it, it could do a little bit more noise reduction and a little bit more sharpening, just to bring it out a little bit more. So let's have a look at the shadows again. So you've still got a little bit round here in the rocks, but not much. But the, the, the image as a whole is fine, and I'm happy with that. But you know, if you want to do a bit more here, you, you can once again go to your your paintbrush tool, uh, tick the masked overlay, and just paint in along the areas that you feel could do with a bit more work. So I'm just going to do rounds about here and a little bit on this rock just here. It's just a little darker areas. So I'm just going to untick that. And what I'm going to do now is just start. You've got your noise slider here. So you can just start adding that in there. If you press Z on your key, it'll zoom in straight to 100%. And then from there, if you press the space key, you can move around the image and look at seeing, see what the your settings and what the slide is doing to the image. So from here, you know, if I go all the way, you start to see that it really softens the image to a point where it's you just don't want it to do that. So I'm just like it's very little. And just to help balance it off, I'm going to add a little bit of sharpness to that as well, but only a very small amount. So once I'm happy with that, press the Z key again and just straight back out. So that's a basic look at using noise reduction and sharpening. There's a lot of other software you can use in with, sharp, um, with Photoshop and I think Nick Software have a good noise reduction and sharpening software. but. At the moment, I'm very happy with using Lightroom 5. I hope you enjoyed this small course. Uh, make sure to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.